Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your just don't point your finger at crazy people. Photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by the super huger mega camera giveaway. That's right, it's back. And it's more huger than ever. And yes, huger is a word. This time around, I'm giving someone the chance to win cameras and lenses valued up to $4,999. And it's completely free to enter. You can score extra entries by picking up Pro Pack 1, 2, or the bundle, or any of my educational video guides. For full sweepstake rules and to get entered, head on over to bit.ly slash megafro2020. No purchase is necessary. First up, do you own a Nikon F6? No. Yes, I said Nikon F6. You know that film camera that was released in 2004 after digital had already started to take the industry by storm? Jackson Storm, right? So why am I bringing this up now? You may be wondering. Because Nikon just announced a recall on a 16-year-old film camera. Mind you, they only have to recall 152 total units, but how can you recall a camera that's 16 years old? Well, according to Petapixel, the recall is based on a July 2019 update to the European ROHS directive, whatever the hell that is. The directive restricted the amount of the plasticizer dibutal Fafolate, or DBP for short, that can be used in electronic devices. Now, how Nikon knew exactly 152 units were affected by this is beyond me, unless all they actually sold was 152 units, thus making it really easy to find them all. Pokemon! Nikon did make it clear that the recall had nothing to do with the camera's performance, quality, or function, and it will not affect your health in normal use. So I guess that means don't lick it or eat it or stick it and you'll be fine. We might as well add fuck it to the list too. But if you're one of the 152 people whose cameras are affected, unless you actually own more than one, then it's less than 152 people, and you'd like Nikon to replace your 16 year old one with a new one, they will do so for free, even if you're outside of the warranty period. Now you may be wondering, how can you still be in the warranty period for a camera that's 16 years old? Well, simple, this camera still can be purchased new for $2,600. Damn! Next up is a story I just couldn't pass up reporting on. Pentex believes in the future of SLR photography. Yep, that's a quote that can be found right on Pentax's website. Though it's not actually Pentax's website, being that the URL starts with Rico-imaging. On the site and in a video, they share some really lame statements like, When you take a picture with an SLR, the light passes through the lens and in turn the optical viewfinder. You view the image directly with your eyes and feel it with your heart. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. Shit, so that emptiness I feel in my heart every single day is because I don't use an SLR anymore and not for another reason? No. God, that's a relief. What a relief it is. To go along with that vomit-inducing statement, Pentex shared five principles of their brand visions. One, we design cameras through sheer devotion, or desperation maybe. Two, our goal is to produce cameras with the power to capture images that allow for direct communication with the subject. Right, because other cameras don't allow for that. Three, we design cameras that allow our users to enjoy all the processes involved in taking a picture. What, what, including shooting like it's 1983 again? Four, we pursue a level of quality and performance that can't be measured by numbers alone. That's like saying I like driving my Daewoo over, say, a Lexus. Five, we respect and value the photographic experience of our users and view this as an invaluable asset. Okay, cool, let's, let's add number six. We wanna hang on as long as we can with the few devoted followers that we still have. Oh, sick burn. The truth of the matter is, if enough people enjoy using Pentax's DSLRs to support the brand, I have no problem with that at all. Will you be picking up a Pentax to show your support for the five principles? Because I won't. Next up, Nikon made a few announcements, including the next full-frame mirrorless camera in the Z lineup. Introducing 
the Nikon Z5, a 24.3 megapixel full frame camera with an Xpeed 6 processor, an ISO range of 100 to 51,200, 273 phase detect auto focusing points that cover 90% of the sensor, inclusion of animal IAF right out of the box, the ability to shoot at four and a half frames per second, and a top shutter speed of 1 8 thousandth of a second with five axis IBIS, a 1 million dot tilting screen, 3.6 million dot EVF, and two, count them, two SD card slots in a body that is basically identical to the Z6 and Z7. Now, wait a second, with specs like that, how is this different than a Z6, you may be wondering? For one, the Z5 doesn't use a BSI sensor. It isn't built completely of magnesium alloy and doesn't offer the same video shooting capabilities and doesn't shoot as many frames per second for stills. But with all of that said, the Z5 has to be one of the most feature-packed full-frame mirrorless entry-level cameras to ever hit the market. Nikon did a fantastic job of not hindering this camera. My one gripe about the camera is its launch price of $13.99. I think Nikon backed themselves into a corner with the Z50 being priced at $8.99, which didn't leave them with much room to price the Z5 around what I think it should have been is $10.99. Now, if Nikon can work on bringing the price of this camera down, they might have a real wiener on their hands. Ask me about my wiener! Or in more people's hands. And finally, has Canon officially killed off the 5D lineup? According to Canon rumors, the answer is... Yes! Wait, I guess Canon doesn't subscribe to Pentex's five principles. No. Now, it was rumored that Canon was working on a 5D Mark V, but with the push into mirrorless and clearly where the future of photography is going, Canon might have put a fork in that idea. Stick a fork in him, they're Two years ago, when Canon brought the press to Hawaii to announce the EOS R, I was asked if I think Canon should release a 5D Mark V, and my answer was an emphatic no. Now, I'm not saying I'm the reason that Canon decided to kill the DSLR, but, but wait, or, or am I the reason? Okay, I'll take credit. Seriously, not really, but, but really. There would be absolutely no reason for Canon to release a 5D Mark V when they have the R5, R6, EF adapters, and RF glass. Canon rumors did go on to say there might still be a DSLR in the works to fill the gap, keep stragglers happy, and allow them to view the image directly with their eyes and feel it with their hearts. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.